Welcome everybody to another video of Dead by Trash Can. My name is Q Product. Today we're playing the Skull Merchant. As always, using a different type of add-on, like usually using prototype rotor, a bad add-on. What this add-on does is a survivor runs into a drone and item and activates it. Once we're in the drone, we get a 5% haste status, but that lasts forever until we hit the drone. Which is pretty good, because you get a 5% haste status but that lasts forever. The problem is it, it has to be activated by a survivor. Then of course we're using Brown Noise Generator because we want to make them oblivious. And we have Hex Ruin, Hex Fire Hope, Hex Plaything, and Hex Pimento. So let's get straight into the game so I can show you how great this build is. Okay, we are in Wreckers Yard, and this is the exact same build we used in my last video where I was playing on Dead Off Loom. But the difference is this video is actually longer, meaning you're gonna actually see the build because before people rage quit immediately because they can't handle my score merchant. But this time, we're going to actually see the build in action. So, immediately I find someone, and he's lagging. I'm like, hello. But it's not the first person who's lagging, but I can't tell if it's my connection or if it's the game. But I'm pretty sure it's the game. So, immediately, my Hex Ruin gets cleansed. And I'm like, huh, of course. But it's fine, because we have Hex Pimento. So, we can just use that later on. This guy is oblivious, and doesn't know where I'm coming from. I'm untappable, so he doesn't see my red stain. So, I get a really easy, quick hit. And if I recall, no one has any uh, flashlights, I don't know why I keep looking at the walls. But I'm so used to doing it, that's why I do it a lot. So a really fast hook, and no gen was done yet. Hex put thing out of it. I, I swear I thought I saw somebody, that's why I looked behind that rock, but nope. So at this point, I want to place my drones in decent spots where hopefully a survivor can activate them in the middle of a chase. But the problem with this rotor add-on is the fact that no survivor ever really, honestly, is going to run near a drone that's not activated because they just don't do that. But this survivor is gonna run to the edge of the map. I'm trying to mind game them. He just throws the pallet down. I don't care. He throws the pallet down, immediately stunning me, and then he runs forward for a straight long, long time. And I'm like, huh? But that's a hex plate thing totem right there. I am kind of mad that my hex of our I mean, my hex ruin got cleansed immediately. But the difference is, I'd rather, I'd rather hex ruin get cleansed immediately any day of the week than my hex are our hope this person is holding w they don't even care about anything in the world i noticed this so i'm like why are you holding w he holds it down w drops every pallet not paying attention to where i am and as a result we're gonna get a really quick and easy down i see someone on that generator over there so i'm gonna try and interrupt them after i down this person a 360 can't stop me so i'll pick up this person the person on the um generator is no longer on the gen anymore because they realize that I'm coming, but sadly, I'm not going to activate Hex Pimento yet, because they just cleansed that totem, they're going to know it's Hex Pimento, and they're going to immediately, um, what's it called, get rid of it, not to mention it's right next to a person on a hook, so they're going to see the Hex Pimento, and they're going to go, oh, I can get rid of this. So now, Jim Ritter gets done after I hook two people, so I guess that's kind of, that's pretty good progress for me, because I, the ability to, um... The ability to get two people um, down or hooked before they complete one den is pretty good. But I know someone's over here, but I can't find her. She just hits me with the pallet. And I think she has smash hit or she had, um, what's that perk called? Uh, sprint burst, because she is gone, like across the entire map. And I'm like, huh? So now another chase I have to do to try and down somebody. But the reason why I chase this person, I bet the um, person I just hooked got off the hook. And I see right there. So I go after her a second time because it makes more sense to go after somebody who's already been hooked and get them out the game than it does to try and go after somebody new. Even though I do prefer to actually spread the blood, make sure everyone's injured, different things like that. But this time I didn't do it. This person is actually being smart for once. Before she just didn't look behind her and dropped every pallet. Now she's looking behind her and I'm like, okay. So because of that reason, I am able to still down her though because it doesn't matter where you go, I will always find you. Dude. So pick her up, put her back on our hook. And now we have to go back over here so I can make this into a hex pigment totem. Because I know they dropped the power here and I know they um are on this gen. So I put the um totem in the right spot. I mean I put the drill in the right spot. Then they can protect the totem and the gen. Now I need to go out of these drones, but I know of course since none of my drones I've seen anybody that there is um no one on gens. But I look at my radar, and I see someone is right next to me. So I'm like, they sadly, they know I have a Hex Pedimental token. I mean, totem right there, because they definitely heard me to activate it. 
but at the exact same time, it doesn't matter if they heard me activate it because I still have Hex Pimento activated and it's gonna slow down the generators by 30%, which is really, really good. Another thing Hex Pimento does, I, tried, I don't know why I couldn't, um, oh yeah, I, don't, I was trying to, uh, mind game and hit her, but I'm stupid and I accidentally, um, accidentally swung too fast. I don't know how that hit, honestly, but I'm not mad. Time for this pallet. And because of Hex, that's why I love this build so much, and I'm gonna probably use it more often. Hex Pimento is such a good perk because you basically slow down gens by 30%. And because the generator is slowed down, you can just work on, you can focus on the chase and ignore everyone else. And that's the reason why I love this build. And also, Hex Plate that makes him oblivious, and being oblivious against a killer who has no terror, I mean, who has um, no stealth perks is pretty useful. So I'm about to add another Hex Pimento. Mainly to the fact that they can, um, if they destroy the first one, they have another one. So one generator gets done, but it doesn't really matter. I've hooked so many people so many times, and I feel like this game is not over yet. They can definitely still win, but it's going to be much harder for them. Also, the more they cleanse my Hex Play thing totem, the more, um, Hex Play Mental I can activate. So I know no one's over here, but I want to activate this totem just because of the fact that if I activate it, I have a third Hex Play Mental totem. So now their healing while on the ground is decreased, their healing each other is decreased, and their and their repair speed is decreased by 30%, and that's really, really useful. But I'm going to put a drone over here once I get a drone. Get rid of that one. Well, I get either of that one. But then she gets rid of my drone, I'm like, huh, of course. Now I can't put the drone because he has a claw trap on him. But I'm going to track him and find out where he's going. He's going to the shack. But there's no uh, pallet here. I was really, really hoping he would activate that drone by himself because then it would be really, really good and my rotor would activate, but my rotor never even activates because of the fact that no survivor runs at a drone purposely. Now, it is pretty good against survivors who already have a claw trap and then they run towards a drone because it will activate automatically. But other than that, um, it's just not point using this add on unless you can get it to work consistently, but I cannot. I mind game this person, that's why I get a quick down. And like I said before, because of the fact that we have Hex Pedimento, we can focus on the chase. Ignore the gens, because they're they're gonna do the gens, but they're gonna do one of two things. They're gonna do the gen 30% slower, and we can focus on chases, or they're going to try and find each Hex Pedimento can I meant totem and try and get rid of it. But I know I saw someone over here in the corner of my eye, so I'm gonna go after him. But it's the same girl who just knows how to press W only. She just runs and runs. So I thought she was gonna go after this, go and save him, but instead she goes towards the window. But I wanna down her as quickly as possible because of the fact that if I down her, I can um, get her out of the game. And then at the corner of my eye, I saw her drop the pallet, so I'm like, oh, okay. But like I said before, all she does is hold W and she runs, but doesn't look behind her a lot. So it's a really quick down. But I get 360, I turned my camera away for a second. I don't know where she went, it was just, she just gone. But there's no way you can vault this pallet before I can hit her. So I'm gonna hit her even though that did not hit. And I'm gonna hit her, I'm gonna down her, pick her up, and get her out the game. There's one person we don't have to worry about. There's two gens left, but we still have our Hex Pimento. And once they, um, what's it called? If they don't cleanse our Hex or our Hope, I think they didn't cleanse it yet. I believe they didn't cleanse it. No, I think they did actually, because um, you're, you're supposed to get a speed buff after. Um, you use your Hex or Hour of Hope and hook someone, and I'm pretty sure I didn't get that speed buff, which means it's clean, sadly. But it's fine. So we don't really have a good 3 gen at all, but because of the fact that the generator is being done slowly, and I checked all the gens, and there's no one on any gens, I don't have to worry about any gens right now. All I have to do is just kind of find the survivors, but there's 3 survivors. I noticed that there's one, the Meg, I have seen one time. And that's it. Like, I think I only think I even downed her. I can't remember. But the Meg, I saw one time. Yeah, I, I didn't down her yet. I saw her once, and that was it. So I noticed someone over here because of the fact that they just cleansed this totem. And this was a hex plate thing. And it was a, uh, yeah, hex plate thing totem. But I can't find the person, so I'm going to re-adamate the totem because I don't care. Rekindling, not rekindling. What's it called? Uh, hex pedimento is going to slow down even more. But now I know someone failed this generator. That means there's someone over here, but I just got to figure out where they are. And I look in this locker, I don't know why I did this, because when you have, when someone's in the drone radius, they get, um, what's it called, scanned by the drone, even though they're in the locker, so I don't know why I decided to go 
check the locker. But no one, everyone is just hiding because they just don't want to get caught by my school merchant, which is really, really annoying. Also, I'm mad because we have no more hex play thing totems. So no one's oblivious. They can definitely hear my terror radius. So I'm going to pretend like I didn't see him in the corner. I'm going to bring this pallet, and I'm going to quickly turn to the right and hit him. So in the corner of my eye, I did see him. And there's no way I'm gonna. I'll always pretend like I didn't see people because they're not gonna run if they think if they think that you didn't see them. But sadly, he's gonna go over here. But I thought he was gonna go towards the um shack, but he knows there's no pallet over there. So instead, he goes over here and it sits, sits on this pallet, hits me, and now he's going towards the shack. But it doesn't really matter because if he bossed the window, I know I have enough time to hit him after he bossed the window. So on the mind game, he bossed the window, he bossed the back, but it's too late. There's no way. And now we got another person out the game. There's two people dead with this really, really good build. Even though Hex Ruin got cleansed immediately, so I don't really understand. The first game I did with this build, they gave up and rage quit. The second, I'm not rage quit, they gave up and quit and decided to call me trash because apparently when you play Score Merchant, playing a, playing a killer makes you a bad person, I guess. I don't know. But um, they completed another gen, but it doesn't really matter. There's only one gen left, and there's two survivors left. And I'm pretty sure Kate is almost dead on hook. I just have to find her. But I kind of want to find Meg, because Meg has been the problem. I've been, I've seen her once, and I was like... So I'll put a drone. I'm going to get this gen, then put a drone here, just to make sure it automatically activates over and over again. There's no way they cannot do it. They have to like do the drone. But more importantly, I know I saw Meg, or like Kate, one of them. Um... Trying to crash down with urban evasion, so I'm gonna hit her before she goes to the window. But now she is running away, and I'm like, oh, there's this girl far away. Because I think she had live, plus she got hit, like she just gone. So she runs away. But it doesn't really matter because she didn't ran into me for some reason. And I'm pretty sure that should have hit her, but for some reason why I didn't. And I'm like, huh, of course. So this chase is gonna take even longer than usual because of the fact that my hits don't hit. But it doesn't really matter because honestly, I just wanted the game. We won. Like, there's no much. There's not no much. There's not really much they can do. Meg is the only one that's really been a problem, but it doesn't really matter if Meg's a problem because we care everyone else. Then Meg's left by herself. All she can do is try and find the hatch. Which she most likely will. Honestly. But I know this girl's not dead on hook because of the fact that I remember. I remember going after two people only. Because I knew they would be dead on hook. Now I was all I had to do is camp the hook because I know one of two things is gonna happen. Meg's gonna try and go for the rescue, or it's gonna be the opposite where the girl on the hook dies, and that's gonna basically hope I can find the hatch before Meg does. But for some reason, in the corner of my eye, I know I noticed that I um, don't see anyone in, anywhere. But when I go on my drone radius to become oblivious, I wanna go to the shack. No one's here. The moment we go in the basement, I was gonna hide right here because of the fact that I, I'll be untouchable and I'll be near the hook as well. But then, because you know I'm untouchable, Meg is going to show herself at the last second, and there she is. Because we're untouchable, it's kind of hard to tell where the killer is. So now Meg is like, "Oh, I got caught," and throws the pallet. Was nowhere near that pallet. I hate this game. Like that pallet was nowhere near me, and I got hit by it. I'm like, okay. So now, because of that reason, I'm gonna keep chasing Meg. But it doesn't really matter because the game's over. But then she bossed this window. I wasn't mentally prepared for that. Then she goes over the pallet again. I'm like, okay. And I thought she was going to mind game and go over her again, but she doesn't. But luckily for me, the person dies on the hook for Meg and rescue. So now all I have to do is down Meg and hope the hat doesn't spawn on her dead body. Now imagine the hat spawn right there, then the game would be over every so at. So she has bowl over, and I'm like, uh, of course. And I have no idea where any hooks are. So I'm praying I can get to this hook before boil over makes me um drop her and then she just goes towards the hatch but luckily we put her up because boil over doesn't make you wiggle faster unless you drop from a high height it just makes it harder for the killer to move which in turn makes it so basically you get out of all of all situations but that was the video that was the game that was the video it was a kind of a long-ish game like normally my long games like 20 minutes this is like a 15 minute game but it wasn't really a bad game. It was actually a really fun game. I, I feel like I had fun. I didn't cap anything. No survivor really could complain about anything that happened in the game. It was just me using my perks and knowing how to play score merchant like always. But 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video with anyone you know on any social media platform. I love reading y'all's comments so much.